All right, guys. So I've been busy around the house here, getting the house ready for sale. Things go on everywhere. I've got to go back up to the property, get more stuff done up there so we can actually move there. But in the meantime, I thought I'd fill you in with what's been going on around here. So hang out for a minute. I'll tell you a little bit about it. So I had to paint the inside of the house, which means you have to go through and put putty in all the little nail holes and whatever chip in the corners that you have to fix up because your kids run into them or you're removing some furniture around and knocked it into the corner, took a little chunk out. So went around, fixed that, fixed all the little things, sanded the stuff down, painted it up, which you kind of see what it looks like now. Uh, I cleaned up the place a lot. Looks like a disaster now because we've been packing. So everything's pulled away from the walls so we can paint. Um, so it doesn't look like an organized house right now. It doesn't look like uh, something you'd want to live in. But we're managing right now. So we didn't repaint the, the kids' rooms or the master bedroom because we figured whoever buys it is going to want to paint whatever color they want in those rooms. And there's two bedrooms that need carpet. We're not going to replace the carpet in those. We're going to let the, the new owners pick a color of carpet and put it in. It's easier to do that than try and pick a neutral color that everybody's going to like. I wanted to paint the inside of the house because it hadn't been painted in a while. I want to say like eight years, nine years. I don't even know. So the paint was looking kind of dingy. The new paint, it's semi-gloss tan it's semi-gloss white for the baseboards and the doors so it all shines real nice it makes the house look really open and, and really uh, really light what else have we been doing um, maintenance to anything and everything while I'm here and I have a garage I uh, fixed the diesel leak on my truck just had a little diesel leak out the uh, fuel pump there on top of the motor so I put any fuel pump in that Maintenance to the house, I had to put a new side door on it. Yeah, the, the old one was just, the water had gotten in where the cat door is and it just rotted out the bottom of the door. So I put a new new door on that side over there. And I, I had to put the cat door back in it. Number one, we still have cats. But number two, there's a hot water heater in there. So it has to have a an opening of some sort to let gas out if it starts leaking gas. And that passed, what was it, I don't know, two years ago when we did a refi, or maybe it was when we, were, maybe it was when we changed the garage into a, a living room and they had to inspect it. I think that's when it was. And the inspector came out and they said, well, your hot water heater's in there, but you have a cat door and it's got air, you know, they're not perfectly sealed, you know, the air flows past them. So... He said, that'll work. It's a, it's a hole in a door to let gases out. So I'm, I'm hoping when the home inspector comes by, when we sell the place, that it passes. If not, I'll take the cat door out and I'll put a little screened vent there, a little louvered vent, so it, it will pass code. They're not too picky around here, so I should be all right. As far as getting ready to go back up to the property, I've called a couple places. I've called uh, an electrician to help me set up a temporary power pole. And I've got a place that sells cargo containers, fairly inexpensive. So I've got to stop by that place and look at those. I've got to make a place for them on the property and hopefully get them dropped off in the next week. I don't know if that's going to happen because it's a holiday week. I've only got four work days. I've also got to stop by the county and drop off plot plans for where the Connex boxes are going to go. Most places you don't have to permit these these 40 foot boxes and I'm, I'm pretty sure I can get away without permitting them if I wasn't going to build a house and have inspectors coming by constantly. If you already have a house and you want to get one, I have so much land, nobody's ever going to see it. So if I didn't have inspectors coming by all the time, I'd probably just grab one and put it on the property. But you're supposed to permit them in this county. so. 
go get a couple permits for a couple 40 foot Connex boxes and see if I can get them dropped off so that I can start moving stuff up there and have a secured place to put it. Other than that, just finalizing where I want to put my house and my leach field and ma actually mapping it on the, on the ground, whether it's with some, uh, some logs to, to see where it's going or just get some marking paint and put it out there. I probably got to cut, cut down a few more trees. All that fun stuff. So I'm going to take my dog with me this time, my deaf dog. He'll be on a leash the whole time so I can keep track of him. I'm going to put a little bell around his, around his collar, a little small little cowbell, just so I know where he is if he's not on a leash. So hang out and uh, there'll be more updates soon. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, get the little bell for notifications, hit that like button, get this channel out there and make a comment what you want to see, what I could do to improve some of my videos. I know my videos are a little shaky and I'm trying to get like a selfie stick or something like that to help steady my GoPro. All I have right now is a GoPro and an iPhone. So that's all I'm taping with. I know it's a little shaky, but put some comments down there. Let me know some good ideas on steadying up my, my videos. Until then, take it easy. Enjoy the ride, go out and make something.